Olympic Challenge. So we do want to encourage some kind of interactivity for both of the players while not discouraging all types of play style, if that makes sense. So I do appreciate the change to seven minutes because that is the tournament standard. Yeah. That being said, Frost for coming out and playing his Lucas. He did really well yesterday with him. But now we've got a new challenger in Emptiful playing Wolf, a really strong combo character who has a great punish. He's doing a really good job. He's got the lead so far against Frosper. I'm excited to see how the rest of this set will play out. Oh, that was really dangerous on Emptiful's part, and Frosper did a really good job of taking it full advantage of that risky choice from Emptiful. Another one! Another one! He said, can I have more, please? And Frosper said, yeah, I got more. That was a good Nair, having a really long-lasting hitbox, able yeah. to get and a good tech chase. Really good moves from both players. Emptiful's just trying to find some kind of opportunity to push himself into Frosper's face and start cracking up this damage, but it's really hard when uh, a character like Lucas has so many tools at his disposal to work the long-range uh, gameplay. All right, Frosper trying to get a grab. Oh, he wasn't able to get the... Ooh, ooh. This is all really scary. They're <laughs> throwing out a lot of moves all really quickly that are all dangerous. Whoa. Emptiful That's able to force spot, his way through there, yeah. Good Nair. Doesn't see it that it's safe for him to approach quite yet, though. Oh, he could have gotten that if he'd done it sooner. Yeah. Instead, Frosper takes full advantage of the situation, taking that stock. Ah, uh, he was facing the wrong way. Emptiful takes advantage as well. We've got a tie game, essentially. Both of these players could take this, this first game and get a really good advantage for the later half of the set. Oh, Emptiful was hoping that Prosper would roll in so he could take advantage of that down smash. All right. Emptiful begging Prosper to try to come closer, daring him. Okay. Oh, that was dangerous, but Prosper wasn't prepared for the, the daringness. Oh, he's able to get him. Frosper safely recovers back onto the center stage. He's got a grab. Does a back throw. PK freeze. His freeze is so dangerous. Oh. Both of these players at over 100%. This is dangerous. And Emptiful takes the first game. Really good stuff from both players. They were getting really scared there at the end. I'm surprised. I've never seen Emptiful play before. So we may have an underdog situation here. Emptiful beating veteran player Frosfer here. What's Frosfer going to pick? Where does he want to take Emptiful? Yoshi's story. All right. Frosfer sticking to his gun saying, hey, I know my Lucas. I trust my Lucas. I don't need to pull anyone out to beat you. I think you just got lucky last time. I'm taking you to Yoshi's story. Three, two, now this stage is a lot smaller. This is going to force a lot more close quarters combat, combat situations, which will definitely benefit Lucas. He has more options to work with. But Emptiful, again, no slack as we can see. Oh, try to get an F smash. Hoping Frosper may accidentally land in front of him. All right. 
Cross for trying to land with down airs. Emtiful instead saying no. Oh, that was an unfortunate miss input, accidentally killing himself. However, this deficit isn't too wide. At any moment, Frostburg could lose his stock. What did I just say? We have an even game. Yeah, the commentators cursed too. Yeah, I cursed him. I'm sorry. It always happens when I say it too. Yeah, every commentator has that. Oh, okay, they were both really nervous, not really sure what the other person was gonna do. So instead they decided, okay, no, we're gonna kind of reset the neutral. Ooh, dangerous, dangerous. Both of these players just trying to like, kind of poke at each other, wondering if something will stick. That was great mind gameplay from Emtiful. Dashing in, scaring Frosper, walking away, confusing Frosper. It doesn't matter. Frosper took the stock. Emtiful's trying to find a down smash. Something to close out the stock. Frosper's starting to really hack on this damage. Okay. Frosper running in and grabbing him by the neck. Trying to get a PK free. Frosper on the teeth of this stock. It's gonna get a back air. That may kill. Not quite yet. Down smash. Whoa. Really strong shield pressure here. Back. Frosper wants to end this game before Emtiful gets the chance to respond. And Emtiful has stage control. Now he's being thrown off the stage. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, Emtiful predicted something. Unfortunate DI from him. The set is tied. We have got a set. A local friend from the audience says hi to encourage her friends. Lend these players your energy. Who do you want to win? It's so close. There we go. Show the love. Show the love. Stop the battle, Lucas. Game three. Any player can take it at this point. Whoa. Both players saying, hey, we know our characters. We don't need anything else to beat you. I like that. I respect that. Three, we are on two, Kalos. One, this is an go. interesting stage. It's got platform layouts like any other stage, or unlike any other stage, because they hang above the ledge, which really makes edge guarding a bit more complicated than it would be on any other stage. I'm excited to see how both players adapt. Frosper doing a really good job reacting to Empty Pool's options. Oh no! Lucas thankfully has a really good recovery. He's able to make it back. Empty Pool trying to get a read on Frosper, hoping he might roll inwards. Gets a good dash attack. He's juggling Frosper. Ooh, that was a very weird uh, reflector on Emtiful's part. Frostford grabs him and throws him up. But this stage has a really high ceiling. Not going to be able to kill quite yet. All right, another grab. This may do it. It does it. Stock one, Frostford's court. Ooh. Both players were kind of just poking at each other, trying to find an opening. And again, we're seeing that now. Who's going to mess up first in the neutral? Is it going to be Frostford or is it going to be Emtiful? Who will start racking on all this damage? Frostford's got a bit of an advantage here. He does a down smash. That was very smart on Frostford's part. He wasn't able to gimp Emtiful, and so instead he pushed himself away, saying, all right, I gotta protect myself. Oh, really dangerous. Emtiful finds that F smash. He's tied up the stock, but he is behind. Can he pull ahead? Uh, he's found an opening. Oh. 
Oh, he B reversed that up special. It was not in his favor. This is his game, or his set stock. If Prosper takes this, he will have won the set and continue moving forward through the bracket. Emtiful is being very careful right now. Prosper finds a little opening. Emtiful able to get that. But Prosper safely gets himself back on stage. He gets hit by a straight back air. This is game point, people. Alright, Prosper is juggling Emptyful. He's got a PK freeze, almost lands, instead grabs Emptyful. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, Emptyful almost finds an opening, and Prosper gets a grab. Down smash, almost hits. The parry! The parry! Okay. Oh! At any moment, Emptyful may find himself. The straight forwarder, that is it for Frostburg. The boys pop off there. He's wow. happy. Good stuff. Uh. The tournament organizer runs up and makes sure none of his stuff breaks. <laughs> that monitor was wobbling. But again, that was exciting. That was hype.